Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Eugene Karbareski, the Tank Coat Piston Cup Racer number 36. Now before we get right into the review, let me, di let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Eugene Karbareski is a Husker Morocco Piston Cup Racer who bears the number 36 for tank coat. He fell into the sport by accident but had already made his mark. And he is also one of the racers to participate in the Danico 400 of the 2005 Piston Cup season at the Motor Speedway of the South. And he is also one of the racers to get involved in the multi-car wreck caused by Chick Hicks. And although in some shots he was seen in the wreck, but in one shot he was seen escaping the wreck, which was considered an, an error. And sometime between 2006 and 2015, he was then replaced by Reb Meeker prior to the mm, events of Cars 3. And during his diecast releases, he was released as a as singles, one with rubber tires as a Kmart exclusive, and as a normal single with plastic tires as part of the Piston Cup 2017 Piston Cup series in of 2017, and was also released in as a launcher and in an Piston Cup 11 pack of 2015 and as part of the Motor Speedway of the South 36 car set and has become one of the rarest Piston Cup racers from Cars 1 to be released. And I got, th I got this from eBay yesterday although I was worried that it I might be mistaken for Reb Meeker from Cars 3 as some of his diecasts were listed on eBay as Reb Meeker, but maybe not. Therefore, I'm relieved to, to, to I have Eugene Karbareski here. And so now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Now here we've got his angry, determined facial expression, his black grill, his pink exterior paintwork, and his white interior paintwork, and the headlight stickers with a pink number 36 on one of them. And on the hood, we've got the tank coat logo with the slogan, Soothes, Soothes Upset Tanks. And on both sides, we've got the pink rims on the black wall light year racing tires, and the exhaust pipes on one side, the pink number 36, pit a bit of white and black lining, the tank coat, a tank coat logo, the gas cap on one side, several contingency logos saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitaling, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retread and Clutch Aid, number 36 on the top, no name signature, Tank coat logo on the trunk. The we got the ducktail spoiler in white, and on the back we've got the the tank coat logo in the middle, and the tail light stickers with a pink number thirty six on one of them, and the bumper which is white. And on the undercarriage, we it says Disney slash Pixar made in China, and Mattel. And now let's pull up some of the other Husker Morocco Piston Cup racers. We've got Claude Scruggs, Leakless, Ernie Gearson, Spearmint, and James Cleanair, Vitaline. And some of the other Piston Cup racers that share the Leakless body mold as him.
here we have the Stoggy Swaver EXs, Krusty Rodar, Vinyl Tupe, Murray Clutchburn, Sputterstop, and Floyd Mulvihill, Gasprin. Misty Motorcrest, Remingo, who is a Crown Celesta. And Greg Kenny, man, Taco Mint, a fan favorite car who happens to be a Capital Motors Verve. EXT, I think. And some of the other cars that have a Gen 3 NASCAR body style. You've got Chick Hicks, who is a 1979 Scheister Kremlin. Dale, the Intimidator, Earnhardt Sr., who is a 1979 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. And Daryl Cartri Daryl Cartrip, who is a 1977 Chevrolet Monte Carlo. And Clint Shift, right? My although it's my depiction of Clint Shift, right, who is a 1978 Chevrolet Monte Carlo, I presume. And some of the other tank coat racers, we have Reb Meeker and Rich Mixon. And voila, that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Husker Morocco is your favorite? Which leakless body mold is your favorite? And which Gen 3 Nest car body style car is your favorite? And which Team Tank Coat Racer is your favorite? Eugene Karbreski, Reb Meeker, or Rich Mixon? Let me know, please let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Oh! And I also forgot to mention that I now have all team, all three team tank coat racers. So, yippee! But other than that, I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!